All right, Brooke, what game are we playing today? Doodle Quest. Doodle Quest? Yes. All right, do you like Doodle Quest? Yes. It looks like a kid's game. Would you call it a kid's game? Mm, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but when you like it too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you're still a kid. And even mom and dad like it too. It looks like a fun one. Well, what's it Doodle is. Quest all about? It's about drawing, pretty much. Uh-oh, drawing, do I have to be an artiste? No. No, not at all? <laughs> no. Well, cool. It looks like some fun drawing. It what is. have you got here? You got some transparencies and dry erase markers? I like it. All right. Well, why don't you tell me how to play Doodle Quest? How you play is you get six of these cards and you uh -huh. stack them all up. Okay. The Ooh, there's a backside. Yes. There's a backside to every single one. So that makes for a lot of different drawings. The black fish is supposedly harder than the yellow fish. Oh, okay. So double size. So you can play yellow or black, mm -hmm. whatever you like. Okay. And they all look different. Yeah. What does this one say? This one, you are trying to draw a line from here to the treasure without touching the crap. Ooh. Okay. But. Yes, there's a you trick. You can't put your transparency over it and just draw it. You have to keep it here, in front of you, and try and draw it. So you're drawing on your transparency, on your guessing what's going to hit the treasure without hitting the crab. Alright, let's see. <laughs> so everybody does that? Yep, and then you line up the black lines on both of them. Okay. How'd you do? Pretty good. Alright, so tell me how you score. Up here, you see this. It says if you get it from the corner into the gold, you get two points. So I did that with all of mine. So all of them touch the gold. Sweet. If you don't get into the gold, you don't get any points. Okay. And if you touch the crab, you don't get any points. Oh, okay, for that line. So you got eight points from that. Yep. Plus it says a starfish gives you... If you touch the starfish, so if I had drawn it a little bit longer and hit the starfish, mm -hmm. I would have gotten an extra point. Oh, but you didn't. Okay. Nope. So you got eight points for that one. Yeah. So then, so then here, you'd have people's names written up here. Uh huh. And you would write eight. Eight and points then, for Brooke. So the other people got five. Okay. And three and ten. Those are wonderful. <laughs> yeah. We're backwards. Dude. That's okay. <laughs> all right. We understand. Okay. So that was so, one. Once you bring it back, you erase it all with your cool little eraser things. Oh, so handy. All and right. you change it. Oh, and every challenge is so different. What does this one say? This one, you and have to play darts with it. Oh. So, looking up here, you'll have to draw a dot on each of the numbers. Well, not on the numbers, but in those sections, huh? So if you yeah. want to score points, then you can draw. So you got to draw four dots to score points. Okay, let's see where you're going to put your dots. I'm going to put mine right here, and here, and down here. You're trying to score a lot of points. Let's see how you do. Oh, you did. I got three, mm -hmm. four, and none. Oh, because you're into on the, the line. Zone. And there you missed. So you got seven points for that one. So, so all of these are so different. Yeah. You're drawing dots, you're drawing lines. You Let's see what some of these others are. What does that one ask you to do? Draw circles around the guys. So okay, they don't I do want to see you try this one. Okay. So you're trying to protect the divers. And according to the score, while you're drawing that, I'll see. Oh, you got You can't cut off a diver. Or if you do, you get a couple of points. But if you touch a shark, you get zero points. Let's see how your drawing is doing. Okay. Oh, hey, you did pretty good. You didn't touch a single shark. I got one guy all the so way in. You got him completely. Those guys you kind of cut, so two points for those. So you got eight points for those guys, plus three for that. Got nice. 11 points. 11 points for that one. Good. All right, so you do how many of those? There are six cards that you use. Okay, that makes sense. So you do six in a game. So you don't go through all the cards. No, just oh, a few. Just to look at a few of those. A lot of different ones. Ones with starfish, all underwater themed. I see this one with 
pirate and sunken treasure are drawing lines without Some hitting of them, bones. Uh huh. You have to draw fish. Oh, there's one. So, this one, you'll have to draw three fish without them touching anything. Oh, can you just draw a real small fish? No, you have these cute little fish stencils that you have to use. Oh. So, so they're a certain size. Oh. You can't draw any smaller. That gets trickier. So, how do we do it? Right there. Again, as you're drawing that, this shows you the points of how you're going to score. So you can see what gets you zero points, you got to be all in. This is an all or nothing kind of thing. Not like those divers you were circling. <laughs> nope. So, we'll see how I did. Ooh, wow. I hit the it's shark pretty good. on there. Oh, yep, get the shark. And I got the boat down there. Ah. So. Uh, not as hot on that one. That was a little tougher one. Just a bit. <laughs> All right. Well, what would you rate Doodle Quest? I would probably rate it a four. All right. Four out of five. Nice. Yeah. And who would you recommend it for? Families. Families, definitely. With the parents and the kids playing together. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thanks, Brooke.